Dear Greg, for six months I've been dating Tom, and now that we're getting serious, I'm starting to worry about something. His parents live half an hour away, and he seems to spend most of his time over there. Even though they're healthy and have money, they call him to do everything. Cut the lawn, do errands, fix stuff. When his mother calls, he jumps, and he talks to her on the phone several times every day. Many times now we've canceled our plans because she wanted something from him. Maybe I'm worried about nothing, but he's 35 years old, and it seems like he can't make any decision without consulting his mother first. Right now, the main thing that's keeping us from getting married is that his mother isn't sure that I'm the right woman for her boy. I love Tom, but should I be worried about his mother? If Tom is freely sharing himself with his parents because he simply enjoys it, you should be thrilled. His ability to genuinely love anyone would be a good predictor of future success in your marriage. From what you say, though, it sounds like Tom is motivated mostly by a fear of his mother's disapproval. Two things you said are a huge red flag. He can't make decisions without his mother's approval, especially the one about marrying you. And he cancels plans with you because she wants something from him. It doesn't sound like he's emotionally mature enough to love you unconditionally. He can't truly love you when he's preoccupied with earning the approval of others and protecting himself from their rejection. Actually, you could use this trait to your advantage. You could manipulate him to do what you want in the same way that his mother does. But that would be a terrible mistake. Much better to marry a man who makes his own decisions and who loves you because he wants to, not because he thinks he has to. Now, I can't know whether you should marry Tom or anybody else, but I can offer some suggestions about how to make that decision. Regardless of what he does with his mother, does he share who he is with you? Does he talk about how he feels and what he thinks? If he can't do that, your relationship will not be healthy. Does he just share with his mother what he's already doing, which can be quite healthy, or does he actually need her advice before he can take action? If he needs her advice at his age, he's probably pretty weak, and she'll continue to rule him after you're married. You'll end up married to this man's parents, and eventually, when they die or become disabled, you may be required to take the role of his mother. Not good. Does his mother actually tell him what to do, or does she veto the decisions he makes? If so, he really is a mama's boy, and you probably need to find a man who has finished growing up. Do his parents still help support him financially? At age 35, that is not a good sign of maturity. As you answer these questions, you should get a pretty good idea about whether your boyfriend is truly close to his parents in a healthy way, or is he attached to them by an umbilical cord? If it's the umbilical cord, it's not likely that you'll be able to change that, and you'll probably be wise to leave the relationship. If he's really a mama's boy, it's very unlikely that you'll wean him from his mother. Now, to be fair, if after you answer the questions I talked about, you decide he is a mama's boy, but you think there's hope for him, you might try reading the Real Love book with him, or the book Real Love and Marriage. Help him see how his relationship with his mother is not genuinely loving. If he lights up and realizes that he is in a sick relationship and he has a genuine desire to change, you might have something worth saving, maybe. But even with a positive response like that, you'll want to watch him for a good while and see if he can really detach from her. A man's first loyalty must be to his wife, not his mother and you need to have confidence in that before you marry Tom.